Hi guys, I'm Carrie Eink, an occupational therapist at Star Institute for SPD. Today I am talking about mini trampolines um, and using them as a sensory tool at home, in the community, at school, um, and many other places. Many years ago, well, I think it's been three years at this point, I created a curriculum um, that's a social skills group for kids on mini trampolines um, called Jump On It, Get Moving. And when I found these um, Bellicon rebounders, which have bungee-based rebounders, I loved how much vestibular and proprioceptive input they provided to the kids that I was treating at the time. So I put that together with my knowledge of social skills and social skill groups, and I created a curriculum that works with familiar children's songs um, in a fun and motivating environment, and um, created a class that promotes social skills, motor coordination, um, trunk endurance, self-confidence, and it's really been a fun experience since then. Um, one thing that I wanted to do and what I found out was that siblings could also be included in these social groups because all kids were on their own little islands, like I like to call it. And so every kid can move at their own pace on these rebounders. The amount of feedback that it provides to kids with autism, kids with SPD, as well as kids without a diagnosis, um, provides a great learning experience that is really fun for kids across the span, um, across ages and across different types of abilities. Um, another thing that I really like to use it with um, is in my adolescent treatment. And what I've found is that adolescents are always looking for different types of movement-based activities that they can do at home or at school. A lot of times, organized sports haven't proved very successful for them throughout the years. And so things like basketball, soccer, some of those after-school classes just aren't as motivating for them. I've worked with a few different adolescents in the clinic recently and found that mini trampolines provide enough input for them so that they know where their body is in space. It gets their arousal up to a point that it needs to be, especially like we've talked about in previous videos, especially in that morning routine. It gets their arousal to a place where they're ready for the day. Um, and it can also promote their praxis abilities. So if you remember, praxis is your ability to coordinate and um, sequence through different motor patterns. So a mini trampoline provides the access to a lot of different movement patterns. You can just bounce up and down on the trampoline. You can jump really high. You can do different arm patterns. And so these are things that I incorporate in my social groups as well in my one-on-one -on -one treatment sessions with adolescents up to adults. Um, what I find is that it's a tool that's small enough to fit inside people's homes and the mini trampolines that I use here are relatively silent in nature when you jump on them, which is also really helpful for some of my adults who live in apartment buildings or um, you know, kids who are on the second floor and want to jump in the morning to get ready so that they're not disrupting their siblings. Um, so I just have found that across the lifespan, a mini trampoline can be really helpful, especially for those individuals with under-responsive sensory systems, individuals with praxis challenges, um, individuals with sensory discrimination challenges. I've really found that this mini trampoline provides the rewarding experience and the motivation to want to do it day after day and to get that arousal just where it needs to be.